Hello today's video we have the following content. Luo Jin, born in a small county, had an affair with Miao Pu, married Shanghai girl Tang Yan, and spoiled her like a princess in four years. Speaking of Luo Jin, he is really a very surprising actor. In the field of acting, you can't guess what tricks he has, and you can always feel his super strength from the subtle places. Whether it is the affectionate emperor in the costume drama, the undercover police in the reality drama, or the guardian knight in the idol drama, or even the caring store manager in the urban drama, Luo Jin can handle it with ease and has a wide range of acting. However, he has been very lucky for 20 years since his debut. Whether in life or acting, he seems to have always been a marginal person in the entertainment industry. He doesn't like hype, doesn't set up any personality, doesn't mix in those dinner parties, and doesn't compete for the position. He lives a Buddhist life. For him, acting well and showing more works that can be remembered by the audience is the key to being an actor. Not only that, he is very loyal in love. His marriage with Tang Yan, a post-85 flower, is a good story in the circle, and his love for his wife is sweeter than idol dramas. 1. The Growth Process of a Small County Child In 1981, Luo Jin was born in a small county in Yichun City, Jiangxi Province. His parents are local doctors. The family lives a good life and has never encountered any major troubles. The only thing that was unexpected was that this naughty son made his father, a sergeant, very worried. Due to his busy work, the couple had very little time to take care of the children. In a small county, time is as slow as a car and horse, and it can never be used up. After coming back from school, he would drop his school bag and go play, climb trees to pick peaches, swim in the reservoir, set fire to haystacks, and use a stick to poke a hornet's nest. What he liked to do most was to sneak into other people's wedding banquets. There were more than a hundred tables in the field. After one person finished eating, another person took over. No one knew each other. Their feet were still in the mud, and they ate so deliciously. For the future, he had no plans and could not find a direction. Maybe he could inherit his father's business and have a stable meal. His father, who was always very strict, was disgusted by his son's nonchalant look. So he decided to let his son suffer a little and exercise well. At the age of 11, Luo Jin asked his father to send him to a martial arts school in Hubei to learn martial arts. Life in the martial arts school was particularly hard. He often had to get up before dawn to practice boxing, and injuries were common. Once, when he was playing with a gun, he accidentally cut a big gash on the inside of his thigh because he didn't have enough strength. Blood was flowing. His mother felt sorry for her son and repeatedly advised him to go home and stop working, but Luo Jin was particularly stubborn and said, I will do whatever my father says. In fact, both father and son have very stubborn tempers. Facing the test questions given by his father, Luo Jin didn't want to hand in a blank paper casually. Years of training in the martial arts school also made him more resolute and strong in character. Later, he was admitted to the Zhangzi Opera School to learn to sing the D-Picking Opera and give himself a skill. I sang the role of a young man in the deep picking opera. I took a horse whip, turned my hands around, and walked around the stage. This meant that I had traveled hundreds of kilometers. Until now, Luo Jin still clearly remembers the scenes when he was learning opera. It was the repeated singing and reciting, and the repeated reenactment, that made him learn to settle down and move forward steadily on the drama stage in the future. When he graduated from the art school, his teacher asked him to go to Beijing to continue his studies at a university. At that time, he actually thought that the Central Academy of Drama and the Shanghai Theatre Academy were specialized in teaching opera singing, because he had never thought of becoming an actor. When he took the entrance exam, he took the train to the north alone, carrying a sword on his back. When he arrived at the examination place, he conquered the admissions teacher with a sword dance. A few months later, he received the notice of the performance department of the Beijing Film Academy smoothly, without any accidents and without twists and turns. Mom and Dad, I got in. He said calmly, as if he was talking about someone else's business. In 2002, the 21-year-old Luo Jin entered the performance department of the Beijing Film Academy. He was in the same class as Liu Yifri, Zhu Yuan and Zhang Yuan. The dubbing class next door had two big names, Wang Bo and Bai and Zhang. 2. Seven years of silence. Under the guidance of fate, Luo Jin unexpectedly entered the film and television industry, but he seemed to have no idea about becoming famous. He was very Buddhist. Compared with running around the crew to find opportunities, he preferred to run on the tree-lined path of the school. 
Everyone says that you have to be famous early, and students in art schools know this very well. Many kids try their best to join groups when they are in college, hoping to become famous overnight. However, Luo Jin didn't take it seriously at all and almost never submitted his resume. Most of the time, he was either in class, doing sports, or hanging out in the library, not caring about anything. Compared with the dazzling acting careers of Liu Yifei and Wang Bo, Luo Jin was far behind. He waited silently for seven years, playing minor roles in various crews. However, he thought he was lucky. Every time when he was about to run out of money, some small roles would appear on their own. In 2002, Ying Da filmed the sitcom Stories from the Sales Office, which lacked a farmer role. Luo Jin, who came from a small county in Shaanxi, was just right. He appeared on the screen for half a day and got 50 yuan in wages. He was very happy. Relying on this little bit of income, he was able to basically solve his living expenses by the time he was a junior. He never asked his family for a penny and could even give a little subsidy to his family every year. Three years later, Ang Lee planned to shoot the movie Lust, Caution, which caused a great sensation in the industry. After hearing the news, countless actors came to interview, and Luo Jin was one of them. Although he was not selected in the end, Ang Lee had a very good impression of this young man, and later recommended him to the Oscar-winning director Alejandro González in Aratu. This director is not an ordinary person. He is very good at making stars. It was his credit that Leo became famous in Hollywood. In the movie A Beautiful Mistake, Luo Jin played a homosexual who fell in love with his lover but did not have a good result. This character was particularly depressed, and his role was a total of seven minutes. The filming location was Spain. Luo Jin did not speak the language, so he relied on instant noodles to fill his stomach every day. With his tenacious perseverance, he solved the problem of Spanish lines. His outstanding acting skills made Inara to praise him continuously. Even the male lead of this play, international superstar Javier Bardem, admired him very much. Later, the film was nominated for the King Golden Palm Award. The 28-year-old Luo Jin was lucky enough to walk on the red carpet of the International Film Festival. This made him feel the power of movies and acting for the first time. At that time, my understanding of acting was like being in the basement. Later, I wanted to learn more. I felt like I was taken to the second and third floors. Slowly, I wanted to see what the 10th and 20th floors were like. On this sparsely populated road, Luo Jin slowly understood his mind. He wanted to be a good actor. However, he had no background and no connections, so it was difficult to get good scripts and good resources. Because of this, he had to give up the big screen and turn to the small screen. In 2010, the annual hit drama Beauty Scheming was broadcast. Luo Jin, who played the infatuated Emperor Liu Ying, entered the public eye. His tangled and struggling love with Dao Yifeng made many viewers cry. This year, the 29-year-old Luo Jin was finally noticed by the audience. 3. New Guine in My Heart In 2010, Luo Jin received an invitation to the TV series Mu Guine Takes Command, and worked with powerful actors such as Mi Apu, Zhang Tilin, and Sikin Gaoa to play the young hero Yang Zong Bao. This drama caused him to have an affair with the actress Mi Apu, who is four years older than him. As the male and female protagonists, they had a lot of rival scenes in the drama. I don't know whether it was because of their excellent acting skills or their true feelings, but their performance deeply moved the audience and they were named the hottest screen couple of the year. In the subsequent promotional activities, the two interacted sweetly, always appearing in front of everyone with their fingers interlocked, and were once described by the media as lovers. Luo Jin once publicly said, I will not reject sister-brother love. If fate comes, I am willing to marry. In a certain program, they were asked to reenact the dialogue of their roles. Luo Jin actually said affectionately in the tone of Yang Zongbao, I love you, love your true personality that dares to love, hate, and dares to act and take responsibility. Mia Pu, who was standing next to him, was so moved that she burst into tears. It is said that when the two of them were filming Mu Guine Takes Command, Mia Pu learned that her father was seriously ill, and her mother panicked and cried. Mia Pu became the backbone of the family. She had to film take care of her father lying in bed, and worry about the huge surgery fee. Under such great pressure, she became more and more haggard. Luo Jin saw it and felt distressed. He quickly took out all his savings of 200,000 yuan to help me out who solve the problem. But this money is not enough at all, but for Luo Jin, this is his entire fortune in his true heart. 
Just when everyone thought they were secretly in love, their inexplicable Weibo posts ended this ambiguous relationship before it even began. Meow Poo said, Happy birthday, little brother. I'll try to get married and have children in 2012. This made Luo Jin return from his fantasy to the cruel reality, and he could only laugh bitterly to hide his sadness. Later, at a gathering in the circle, Mia Poo met Chen Yiheng, who was 19 years older than him. Chen Yiheng's experience is particularly legendary. He worked his way up from a small salesman to the vice president of Leaning Company. He has many industries under his name. In 2019, his net worth exceeded 6 billion. He is mature and stable, and is particularly good to me Apu's family. He gradually won the heart of the goddess. The two secretly got married and had a pair of twins after marriage. They lived a happy life. Me Apu, who became a rich wife, gradually stopped appearing in the film and television industry. She took care of her husband and children at home and managed her husband's business. Filming became her favorite thing to do in her spare time. On this side, Luo Jin, who was not having a smooth love life, put all his energy into his career. His resources became better and better, his works increased, and he gradually became a first-tier actor in the film and television industry. For example, the second male lead Lei Yuming in the urban drama Diamond Lover was both affectionate and humorous. The audience liked him more than the protagonist, and he became popular all of a sudden. In addition, in the costume drama Crane Hua Ting, the humble prince Xiao Dingquan was always suspected and suppressed by the emperor. He played with veteran actors such as Wang Jinsong, Wang Zhizhong and Wang Jianguo, and was not inferior at all. In Home that he worked with Sun Li two years ago, Luo Jin played the warm-hearted store manager Su Wen Chang, who was particularly responsible in caring for his subordinates. The audience affectionately called him Aunt Su. Over the years, Luo Jin has been down to earth, carefully shaping each role, and doing his best in every performance. He is both dedicated and humble, and has gained an excellent reputation in the industry. 4. He fell in love with Tang Yan because of five dramas. Luo Jin and Tang Yan are like the knight and princess in fairy tales. They have worked together in five dramas and spent six years together all day. Finally, they have a happy ending and live a happy life. Tang Yan was born in a wealthy family in Shanghai. She has been the apple of her parents' eyes since she was a child. She is a young lady who does not do any housework. At the age of 18, she won the championship of the Shulei Century Star Beauty pageant with her outstanding appearance. Her star journey is particularly smooth. As soon as she debuted, she caught up with the ancient costume IP legend of Sword and Fairy III. Because of the role of Zhuan, she became very popular all of a sudden. If there is a place in life that is not smooth, it is to meet the scumbag Qiuza. In this relationship where she was the only one-sided, she was hurt very badly and even had a misunderstanding of suicide for love. In 2011, Luo Jin and Tang Yan met through the TV series Gone with the Wind. The first time they worked together, the two felt that each other was okay, but they had just broken up and really didn't want to start a new relationship, so they just treated each other as good friends. Luo Jin's view on love is that he doesn't believe in love at first sight. He pays more attention to the other person's personality, character and world outlook. In his opinion, love can only last longer if it grows over time. Later, by chance, the two continued to work together on four TV series, X-Men, The Secret Agent, Diamond Lover, The Princess Wei Young and Return to the Past. And this sweet girl Tang Yan, who is as sweet as candy, made Luo Jin fall in love with her involuntarily, and he always thought of her intentionally or unintentionally. When he was on the crew, he often took care of Tang Yan, made her laugh, and made soup for her to make her life better. He usually doesn't like to say anything in front of the camera, but this time he praised Tang Yan to the media for the first time, I don't know how to describe Tang Yan's cute expression, I can't express it in words, her cuteness is natural. In 2016, when they were filming The Princess Wei Young, their relationship continued to heat up. After Luo Jin's affectionate confession, the window paper was finally broken. On Tang Yan's birthday in 2016, they announced their relationship at 12.06 and attached a childhood photo, in which the two of them were dependent on each other. Next to Luo Jin, Tang Yang can always be a princess, throwing tantrums, acting coquettishly, and no matter how acting, Luo Jin's eyes are full of doting smiles. He always puts Tang Yan in the most important place in his heart. After two years of investigation, on October 28, 
2018, the two officially announced their marriage, and Luo Jin also spent a lot of money to buy a luxury house in Shanghai as a wedding house and settled in his wife's hometown. In the past, he had thought of setting up a buffet in the fields of Tonggu County after getting married, but now, in order to let his beloved wife have a dreamlike wedding, he actually spent tens of millions of dollars to hold a grand wedding in Shenbrun Palace in Vienna. In 2020, Teng Yang gave birth to a daughter for Luo Jin, and the 39-year-old Luo Jin became a dad. From his wife's pregnancy, childbirth to confinement, Luo Jin has always been by her side. Even during the confinement period, Luo Jin took care of the child, changing diapers, feeding, and bathing, all by himself. At present, the two have been married for four years, and their relationship has always been sweet, just like at the beginning. In addition to filming, Luo Jin spends all his time at home. In the complex entertainment industry, Luo Jin has always been able to manage himself and keep a distance from actresses. He is simply a moon disc candles, which makes Tang Yang feel particularly safe. Finally, I hope Luo Jin and Tang Yang can be happy forever, and I also look forward to them producing more and better works. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,